Today, uh, we're going to be working on the electric. The AutoCAD software costs $4,000. Um, this is the, the plan. Today, uh, we're going to be working on the electric. Um, I've got all my box, or well, I got most of my boxes. Uh, we need to get everything marked out. We need to figure out where everything's going to go. Um, I've got my design with me. Um, so let's get to it. I'm not going to bore you with much talking, but uh, I will go ahead and explain. When we put these on the wall, for those in the kitchen area where there's countertops or where the switches are, we'll put those to the bottom of the box will be 42 inches. So when you listen, you'll see that's, I guess, right about, well, you can't see that. It'll be, the bottom of the box will be right about here. Now, some people like to put them in 48 inches, but that's a little bit high for my liking. Uh, I'll do my switches at 42. That would be above the finished floor. So if I was putting tile on here, I'd add a half inch. Um, and uh, my receptacles on the floor, those will generally come up 12 inches off the floor to the bottom. It's not necessarily the right way or the wrong way. Some people put them at 16 inches. So uh, we're going to do 12 and 42. So let's get started. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to fire my laptop. Yeah, it's an old one. Uh, not that you care. It's HP. I've had it since 2006. So, how old is that? <laughs> and the software I'm using, which is AutoCAD, I've also had since 2006. So it's ancient software, ancient computers. But, if you're interested, the AutoCAD software costs $4,000, so it's not something you're just going to run out and buy every every time you get a chance. So, and the lighting is horrible. All right, while we're waiting on that thing to get started up, <laughs> it'll take us time sometimes. Uh, let's talk about uh, boxes. This is a typical fan box. They're rated for uh, up to 70 pounds for a ceiling fan. If you're going to use ceiling fans, you need to install these. Or if there's a chance that at some point in the future you're going to want a ceiling fan, you need to install a ceiling fan box. Uh, they're, they're rated for ceiling fans for, like I said, up to 70 pounds and they install a little bit differently with some lag bolts or lag screws. So uh, that's what you need to use. I've seen people just use these regular uh, four inch boxes and while you know they have little interval clamps and they're really handy for a regular light fixture, they're not suitable for fans. But I will use this for uh, like in the bathrooms or, uh, or I may just use the plastic ones in the bathroom, I don't know yet, uh, or use these for the outside light under the uh, Eve. So uh, I've got both types, fans and regular light outlets. The other thing that I've got is I've got uh, the plastic electrical boxes with the they got the they got the little lip right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little lip right there. That is the gauge that tells you how far to stick it out from the wall, and then you just nail it in with a hammer. It comes with the nails already in it. Uh, they got the little knockouts on the back. You just knock those out when you want to put a wire in and you fasten the wire within 12 inches of the box. Now, uh, the thing about this is they come in all various sizes. These are 18 cubic inches. The 18 cubic inch box is fine for uh, up to two uh, 12 gauge wires in it and a, and a receptacle. Uh, if you're going to get more than that, then an 18 inch box, well I have to do the math on it real quick, but um, 18 inch box is probably not what you want to use. You want to use a 24 inch or 21 or 24 cubic inch box. The problem with those, because we're going with a 2x3 stud wall here, 
we don't have a lot of room we can't go with the additional depth so I opted to use the 18 inch ones which means I'm gonna have to be careful about how I do my wire so I don't get too much wire in these boxes but uh, we're gonna get all the boxes laid out where they need to go and then we'll come back and figure out about where we need to put our wires I wasn't kidding it's been maybe five or six minutes and it's still booting up the software so it is what it is okay here we have it um, this is the, the plan and uh, yes I, I did all this design work um, so dining room area our outlets uh, we got our kitchen here and you can kind of see how things are going to lay out so I'm going to go ahead and get started on putting all these uh, boxes where they need to go I need a pencil it's a baby pencil but it'll work that takes care of the kitchen uh, except for the stove outlet and I don't have that box with me we'll run the smoke detector at 80 inches to the bottom that way it will catch any smoke that just wafts through this doorway I know you're asking why put a smoke detector this close to the kitchen well beyond that door is a bedroom and you're required to have smoke detectors near entrances to bedrooms outside and then of course inside so we're going to put it here so that it can catch anything that might go into the hallway and then we'll put one in the bedroom as well also national electric code no more than 12 foot apart on your actually the code says nowhere on a wall I don't know how it's worded, but basically no space on the wall can be within can be more than six foot from an electrical outlet. So that means no more than 12 foot apart. On countertops, it's no more than four foot apart because it's nowhere on a countertop within two foot of an electrical outlet. And it all has to do with the length of the cords on appliances or on lamps and that sort of thing. All light, outlet, outlet, smoke detector. Bathroom's done, except for the fan and the light. We'll get that later. Ow! That wood is hard. It was a knot. And just in case you thought that concluded our lesson in boxes, <laughs> wrong. We got another hole into the house to do.
Smoke detector. beat of a long day it's been hot all day today and it started raining and now it's muggy and i just can't get cool and it's it's hot and it's about 5 30 in the afternoon i've got somewhere to be at seven tonight so i've got to go home and get a shower and get changed uh let's see what did we get done today well to start off we got all of our boxes mounted throughout the house. Uh, except for the one over the, got a kitchen light going up here. We didn't get that one done, but everything is mounted now. And uh, smoke detectors in every bedroom, in the living room. Got our exhaust fans mounted. I still got to put the, the vent on them. We put fan boxes everywhere in the main living areas just in case somebody decides that they're going to put a ceiling fan up there. That right there is for our outside receptacle, the GFI. We got one in the front, one in the back. That's for our, got a sunlight. That's for our on demand water heater and our switches our outside light, washer and dryer, closet, got us a can light in the closet. We're gonna put an LED in there. And then we have our electrical outlets throughout the bedroom, switches, GFI, exhaust fan. These exterior 
GFIs here. They come with a, a strap to fasten here and they're adjustable. Um, they're really deep. They work perfect for a GFI, especially on the outside. And uh, you'll fasten them to the face and to the stud here. And then once you get them fastened, there's a little screw here. You can screw in or out and it'll adjust the depth of this. So we're gonna come back later and we're gonna put some hardy siding on this and we're gonna put a three quarter block. This is gonna have to come out three quarters. So we can adjust this right on out. And we also went ahead and mounted a fan box here, center of these windows for our front porch here. I don't know if we'll put a fan out here or not. If we do, that'll be uh, fine. If we don't, that'll we'll just put a light. And then over our front entrance, we got a light. And we're just gonna hang a, a pendant light there, like a chandelier sort of, but it's not gonna be quite that fancy. I gotta get the trailer hooked up and uh, get home and get cleaned up because I got a long night ahead of me. But, such is my life, don't feel sorry for me, I, just, <laughs> I do it to myself, so you see I've been in the rain today. Alright, we all have a good one, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.